we have a, a YouTube channel, so we try to document all these. Okay, everybody, my name is Martin Tyner, and this is Susan that's doing the feeding here, and we've got a little baby jackrabbit. It's either a brand newborn jack, or I suspect it could be a cottontail about 10 days old. I think it's a little jack. But I've been wrong before. And this one came from, was it Washington County? Tokerville. Tokerville. So yeah. What I'm feeding it right now is called a day one stat. It's just a, a little bit of nutrition and moisture to help it normalize its stool because stress and formula can give them diarrhea so easy. This one a dog caught. Where was the blood? Was it from the mouth or it was in the ear. The blood was on his ear. I on don't his know. Ear. Okay. I don't want to give him too much, just a little at a time. This is to rehydrate him and hopefully not start diarrhea because they don't handle formula very well. I should have weighed him before I started too. Let me get a little bowl. I've got a bowl over here, Martin. Mm -hmm. You want to go grab a scale? No, I'm not going to right there. Okay. So let me get that. Oops. You tear Let's it. Let's clear it. No, I just need to clear it. Here you go. That's it. A little guy in there. Well, he's 73 grams. Oh, units. Oops, I zeroed it out with him on it. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Kilograms, ounces, we'll do grams. He's 2.5 ounces or 73 grams. Okay. Tiny, tiny. Yeah. I will write that down in just a minute. Give you a little bit more fluid. And hopefully we'll have good luck with you. They are so touchy. <laughs> Do they usually survive? Actually, the vast majority don't. Even with the very, very best care possible, you have... Um, 75% uh, loss. Because they're just so fragile? They are. They're very fragile. Their digestive systems are extremely delicate. And, and so, you know, with him taking taking food, he's taking it slowly, but he is taking some. It's like it says it's a little hydration, a little bit of nutrition. Not the formula, but the day one stat, just to try and make sure we don't give him diarrhea right off the bat. And how often okay. do you have to feed them? Not that often. Normally the mom only feeds them once or twice. A day. A day. Um, at, usually at night, early, early in the morning and late, late at night. And um, let me put the lid on it because even though it's little, they can jump pretty good when they're little. <laughs> Don't want them jumping out. Um, but when you when we're raising the babies um, ourselves, instead of getting them all in two feedings, we usually break it up to about four feedings in 24 hours so that, you know, they, they get a little bit at a time. So I just... Okay. We're on. Well, good morning, everybody. This is uh, I'm Martin Tyner of the Southwest Wildlife Foundation, and here's my beautiful wife Susan, and our new little rabbit that we're in the process of bottle feeding this morning. It's a little bit more lively, I think. Yes, definitely yeah. being more lively, which is normal. They can be very hard to feed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit more lively, which is a, a good sign. He's pretty lethargic yesterday, but we'll get him there. I have to feed him really slow because they don't always want it. Mm-hmm. There's our little one. The food for the first day that I'm feeding him is uh, diastat. It's basically got uh, 
rice flours and uh, quite a bit of coconut oil. It's got um, probiotics. It's got a, a variety of things, but it's helped normalize the stool since it seems like the first thing that happens to these little guys when we start feeding them is they get diarrhea and, and die. So before we're giving them the milk, we're starting them just on the diastat and see if that helps better since rabbits have such such touchy digestive systems. And then tonight we'll start him on the milk formula for made for cottontails. Or hopefully he'll do okay. Oh, he's at about uh, one milliliter. That's a good thing. Let me turn on the scale. Let's see. This one on. There we go. Okay. Is it still on the grams? Mm -hmm. oh, let's see. That's not grams. That's ounces. 72 grams, so he's down a gram. Mm -hmm. Let me see if he wants any more food. Yeah, he's certainly more lively, at least. That's a good sign. Yeah, don't want to make him eat too much. Nope. Come on, one milliliter might be just fine for now. Okay. One milliliter. Figure at his wage, at about 100 grams, he'd probably want four to five milliliters in a 24 hour period. So if we break up the feeding between four and five feedings, that's about right in this 24 hours. Okay, put him back. Okay. And just so that all of you know, the uh, the little syringe uh, with the nipple on it is were donated to us, and we for for our, our baby animal rescue, and we appreciate that. And these are called Miracle nipples, and the the Miracle O-ring syringe. So those are donated. The the box. Let me get a picture of the box. These little boxes were also donated to us uh, this this last year. The people that donated, we got several of these little cases, uh, little plastic. Uh, uh, boxes for these for the animals and and the uh, the heat lights and and the the light fixtures and so this we're all using all of these wonderful wonderful donations that we received it really helps us a lot keep these little guys alive and going uh, so thank you so very very much for all the supplies that that you all have uh, sent to us but that's our our little rabbit and Su Susan believes this is a little cottontail. And uh, very well could be a little baby cottontail. Hey, well, baby. Since it's March and it came from Tokerville. Yeah, that's um, a that's a good point. Um, it's probably ten days to two weeks old, just out of its hole. And a dog found it. So we don't only do birds of prey. We do native Utah wildlife and. And so we do do our best to rescue these little these little mammals and get them put back in the wild as well. Yeah. Just super super cute little guy. There's our little friend. Just as cute as can be, feeling much better. Uh when he came in, he was uh, very still and and w wouldn't go out and explore. Now he's kind of exploring. So I hope this this little video helps everybody feel a little bit better, just just to see a little tiny cottontail, just just uh, in its little curious looking around. Oh, he sees himself in the he mirror. Does. He does. He sees himself. Let me push that back, and you can angle He's, it so you can see it. So you can see he can see himself in the reflection. He's kind of looking at himself. He says, "Yeah, that's you." That's you, little cottontail. Is that interesting? This guy one? was caught by a dog. Yep. A dog caught him in the field and brought him home. 
So. Oh, he is just so cute. Such a cute little bunny. And put his blanket over in that corner and put the lid on so he doesn't hop out. Yeah. So I gotta get to that other rabbit. Real formula this time. Ah, you don't have diarrhea, that's good, but we need to get some more nutrition into you. It stays warm enough. You don't want it too hot. It'll kill the bacteria and burn it. And if it gets too cold, it doesn't digest well. It makes them sick. Come in. Yes, we'll get you some more to eat. Not as good as real mom, huh? Get you a little bit more. Uh, yes, you can overfeed him, but he hasn't had too much yet. Gagging you, that nipple too long. So he's only had about a half a milliliter so far. I'd like to see you to get one whole milliliter in you. No. So I'm gonna fight it. Huh. Have to feed really slow so that they don't choke. We'll call that good for now. We'll give them a little bit more in a while. Scale here. It's only two and a half ounces, 71 grams. So he's down a couple of grams from last night. Right? Yeah. Well, he's been fed early this morning, but I have to add some more fluids to your food. so he can hide. Light if he needs warmth, but he can get away from the warmth too so he doesn't get too hot. You need to eat, little guy. Are you supervising? You try to make sure the bunny's doing eating like it should. Hey, Cody. Yeah, get the bunny, get the baby. So you know it's not a toy. Good 
Try and get a little bit more in you. Well, I know. It says I don't want to cooperate. quick. I'm going to stop for now. Here we go. Oh, there's my baby. Yeah, just little by little. You know, it's not that big a deal. You just have to be really careful not to drown them in their food. That little one. You're such a cute little guy. Girl. Have you checked yet? Nope, I haven't wanted to overhandle it. Mm -hmm. Stress can kill, and at this point we're trying to keep it alive, so I figured that could come later. Yeah, that's true. Always curious, but that's not the most important thing. Mm hmm Seems to be eating wonderfully. Mm-hmm. I'm not gaining any weight though, so... I know, we just have to feed a little more often. How much do you have in the syringe? Uh, 1.5 milliliters. Okay. And actually I fed it two hours ago and ate 1.5 milliliters. So I'm, I'm, this is much sooner than I've been feeding it, but it's so light I thought I'd better right. feed it again. Well, like I said, I try to keep the cute little fuzzy things for, for you and, and our other volunteers, and I do the mean, nasty claw, things with claws, but it's fun for me to, every once in a while, do a little cute little fuzzy thing. And I'm going to be overwhelmed at work, and your programs mm -hmm. are canceled, so maybe I do need to just leave him home with you. I can take care of him if you'd like me to. Like I said I didn't want to take that, take that away from you guys. It looks like he's had almost one milliliter. Mm -hmm. So for only two hours, that's pretty good. But if he'll keep eating, that's good. Mm -hmm. So far, his stools are normal. We started out on the dry stat to help... Uh, Give him firm stools before we start him in the formula. So the first 12 hours, that's what he had instead of formula. Mm -hmm. And switched him over to the cottontail formula. Well, he's had one full milliliter now. Yeah, I think so too. Yep. We had enough little one. Okay, there you go. There you go, little one. Sure. There you go. Got your tummy full? Okay. Come on, little baby. There we go. And he's about two weeks old. A little cottontail. Mm -hmm. 
Cody was the rat. So this is a little cotton tail that got cut by a dog. And Kayon has been taking care of it, and it's doing very well now. Still on formula, but it's eating the Timothy hay.